be a curse. God bless you. In this video, I'm going to reveal the truth behind Bishop Carlton Pearson's Gospel of Inclusion. Watch this. Brilliant human beings spending eternity in, in a customized torture chamber. You know, it, it was a, it messed with my theology and my heart. And so I started preaching the gospel of inclusion, saying that Hindus, Muslims, Jews, everybody has access to the grace of the God we preach. In the early 90s, Carlton Pearson led Azusa revivals, which attracted over 20,000 people to attend annually. But at the height of his ministry, he changed his theology from believing that hell exists to teaching there's no hell and everyone goes to heaven in spite of their religious background. I believe people go through hell, not ultimately to hell. If your God says, I'm a jealous God, thou shalt have none, none other, no other gods but me. He didn't say there were no other gods. He just said, thou shalt have none before me. He didn't say besides me because we all have God's beside him, but he said, I got to be, he said, I got to be number one. I'm a jealous God. I'm vengeful. I'm angry. I have a 6,000, at least 6,000 year old grudge. I'm going to burn the hell out of everybody one of these days. <laughs> My next level of consciousness, I fired that God. And <laughs> as you can see, Bishop Carton Pearson, he preached that there's no hell and everyone goes to heaven. Now listen to what he says in this video clip. Somebody says, I love you and you better believe it. And I'm going to torture you forever. And my name is God. And the only way you can get free from my wrath is Jesus. Well, do we need Jesus to protect us from God? Are he and the accuser of the brethren called the deceiver in cahoots? And Jesus protects us from both of them? A lot of this stuff is nonsense. A lot of this stuff is just stupid. He called the redemptive work of Jesus Christ stupid. And it gets no worse than this. And he went on to teach many other heretical things that clearly oppose the word of God. I came up with the conclusion that we probably got it wrong. And we misinterpreted that instead of the Bible being the inspired word of God, it's probably just the inspired word of man about God. He always had an unbiblical explanation to justify his heretical teachings. Nowhere does the word of God says or implies that the word of God was inspired by man. According to 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16, it says all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and righteousness. Notice it doesn't say the word of God was inspired by man. He clearly said things that contradicted the word of God. And he did it over and over again and had every explanation in the world for preaching false doctrine. And I'm not celebrating his death, but I realize that Bishop Carton Pearson preached false doctrine. And now is spreading like a wildfire. This is William Murphy. He's the pastor of the Dream Center Church of Atlanta. And recently he rebuked believers for turning their backs on Bishop Carlton Pearson. Listen to this. And this, this was after the church had betrayed him and after the church had uh, called him a heretic and after the church had turned their back on him and after the church had been enjoying his platform and the opportunities they had because of him after they turned their back on him. Now, let's go to the scriptures to see if believers were right or wrong for separating themselves from Bishop Carton Pearson for preaching another gospel. Galatians chapter one and verse eight, it says, but though we or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Let him be a curse. So believers were right for separating themselves from Bishop Carton Pearson because he preached another gospel. Not only does the scriptures says, let that person be a curse, but also in Romans chapter 16 and verse 17, it says, now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. So did he preach the gospel of Jesus Christ? Take a look at this picture. This is what he preached. 
the gospel of inclusion. Now, what does the Bible says in regards to someone who preaches another gospel? It says, let that person be a curse and avoid them to tell people they are going to heaven without repenting and believing in Jesus. That's giving them a pass to eternal damnation. And that's what the gospel of inclusion does. If anyone preach to you another gospel, let that person be a curse. God bless you. In